Hey, what is good, my fellow YouTube fam? It's your boy Aaron speaking. Don't mind the shirt, all right? I know it ain't Christmas, but today it's about that time. Hot takes. I'm going to get right into it. I saw a couple of these. It's going to be spicy. This this is going to be spicy. So let me let me hit this uh, screen record so I can have it like over here. We in here, fam. All right. My boy said... My beautiful dark twisted fantasy over any Kanye West album after Yeezus. Um, I feel like I, I responded saying after Yeezus, as in beyond 2013. He said, "Yeah, that's not a hot take, bro. A lot of people consider that to be his best album." So, ah, you fucked up on that one, kid. <laughs> people talk about how talented Megan The Stallion is, yet she always uses the same flows and same topics. Facts. She was talented from. Honestly, I could give two fucks. Call me sexist, but I just don't really care for female rappers. I don't know. I just don't care. I'm just keeping it real, bro. Koi Leroy's voice is annoying as hell. It, it's different. I Like I said, I don't give a shit about these female rappers, to be honest. She doing her thing right now. She blowing up. She, she lit right now. I give it to her. Finally Rich isn't a top six Sosa project. First of all, six, that's interesting that you said six, kind of weird, but it definitely is top six in my opinion. I mean, they, he has a lot of fucking good ass tapes that nobody talks about, like Dedication and fucking Thought Breaker off the top of my head and shit like that. Even Glow Tovin was pretty good, but I don't know. It's definitely top six, bro. Tupac and Biggie would have fallen off if they were still alive. I mean, you can only look at other rappers that are still kind of relevant to this day that were around during their times like shit r.i.p dmx he was still kind of relevant nas diddy snoop dogg dre they're all eminem like you know like they're still kind of relevant it kind of depends what they would have done i think tupac would have been a big huge like movie star at this point because he was already good in that lane biggie i'm not too sure i think he would have still been on some like Jada Kiss shit, like still doing his thing. I don't know. KOD is J. Cole's best album. False. Hella false, in my opinion. It's Aaron speaking is underrated as fuck. Thank you, my guy. You're a real one. <laughs> nah, but for real, I appreciate that, man. You're definitely hating on Trippy Red's Neon Shark album. You gotta give it another listen. I, I think I responded. I said, who's hating? Tss, the album is hot. Like, I didn't say it was bad. It's just, it's okay. The Carter 4 is a 10 out of 10. Good take. I wouldn't say that's too hot, but that's, that's, I don't think it's a 10 out of 10, but good album. Pluto X Play, Baby Pluto is a more better album than What a Time to Be Alive. Wow, that's low key a hot take. I fuck with that album. I think it's hella slept on. You know, the Baby Pluto, Pluto. I hate the name of that shit. Pluto, Pluto, Baby Pluto, like, that's just names. Like, that's not a real fucking name of an album, but that shit is slept on, in my opinion. That shit is gas. Pluto, Baby Pluto, underrated, especially the first half of the album. Word. The Deluxe 2, Baby Sasuke? Astro World over Rodeo. I don't know if that's a hot take. I guess in the hip-hop community, everybody claims that Rodeo is, like, God tier. I agree with that, though. Astro World is my favorite. I love that shit. Um... Jeffrey over Illmatic. Whew, my boy King with a capital K with the heat. The fucking heat. I disagree, but you can't really compare. One is just way different. But damn. <laughs> Who I, what I'd rather listen to more is a different story. But objectively, nah. Mans thinks he's original with these takes when I have screenshots when he was hating on Thug. <laughs> my boy Walker in the building. Whole lot of red over Die Lit. That's low-key a hot take, I guess. I mean, that shit is gas. Whole lot of red is great, in my opinion. Lil Baby and Gunna are the most generic and boring rappers ever. Kind of a hot take. I don't think they're that boring. I think they're pretty lit, actually. Lil Uzi Vert has two 10 out of 10 albums and is top 30 rappers of all time. Damn, you're definitely a Uzi fan if you're going to think that. Two 10 out of 10 albums? Hey, I'm assuming you're talking about like EA and Love Is Rage too. Those are fucking great. So, I don't know. My boy Stream Critic. Roddy Rich got so overrated that now it's starting to wear off this next album. Could have a chance the rapper Big Day effect, if not made well. Interesting. That's an interesting take, my boy. I don't know if he got overrated, though. Did he? 
I, I, I don't know, man. Maybe to you. I think Roddy Rich is still pretty dope, and I think he has the chance to really make a fire sophomore album. But we'll see. Dark Lane Demo Tapes is top five Drake. That's a pretty hot take. Pretty hot take. I never really listened to that shit from beginning to end like that. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Dark Lane Demo Tapes didn't really make an impact, in my opinion. Didn't really... I don't know. That shit came and went for me. Soul Train by YBN Namir isn't that bad. If you think that's not... It has to be a troll job. That has to be it, right? Because if... I think you're not that bad, but that's... I don't know. Chris Brown is more talented than Frank Ocean and is not even close. I mean, I agree. I mean, in terms of all-around talent, I mean, he could dance way... I'm sure he probably dances way better than Frank Ocean, so that's something he has. I don't, I've never seen Frank Ocean dance, but... Eternal Take is Uzi's best album. I don't think that's a hot take. I low-key agree with that. EA was overrated. Wow, two EA shits. EA was overrated and overhyped? I disagree, bro. I think EA is absolutely heat, bro. Absolutely heat. X over Juice? I don't really think that's a hot take. X was, you know, that's my boy, man. RPX, extremely talented. J. Cole is not top... What's up with these fucking numbers that y'all giving me? J. Cole is not top 60 of all time. Like, that's so random. Like, that's like saying, like... That's like saying cereal is not really my top 20 food. What does that even mean? What does that even mean, bro? Lil Uzi and Juice World are trash. You're trash. Cuddy has more influence on the younger generation than Ye? I don't know. That is a hot take, but I kind of disagree because... I don't know. Ye influenced Cuddy? That's interesting. I don't know. But who did he influence like that? Other than that Ye didn't. Let me know in the comments, bro. Damn is Kendrick's best album. I respect it. I don't agree, but I respect it. Santana World is a top 10 trap album. Damn, I'm sla I'm, I'm sleeping because I don't know what that is. Megan is actually a decent rapper with great flow and with good lyrics. I'm sure she probably is. I just, I just don't give a shit, bro. Aaron, can you give your definition of trap music in 20... I already made a video on that. I sent you a DM already, actually, my, bro my boy. Um, I made a video on that. Like, what exactly is trap music? 21 Savage over J. Cole. <laughs> Damn, that's definitely disagree. You just can't compare though, bro. One is like a, you know, like monotone trap shit. J. Cole's actually like lyrical. I don't know. I don't know how you can compare that. Don Tolliver will be bigger than Travis music wise. That's a huge hot take. Completely disagree with that. I don't know if he could ever be bigger than Trav, bro. Like, Trav put him on? I don't know. I've seen it happen where, like, somebody gets put on. Like, Drake. Wayne put on Drake, and Drake blew up. Like, you know, probably bigger than Lil Wayne, but I don't know. I doubt that. Rodeo and Astroworld are both 10s. Big facts. Future's the best hit maker of the 2010s. Him or Drake? Him or Drake? Metro Boomin over Pierre. I don't think that's a hot take at all. Shout out to Pietro. Skeletons is the most underrated track from Astroworld. Either that or R.I.P. Screw, in my opinion. Lover's Rage 2 is a top five trap album ever. That is definitely a hot take. Great tape. You got to listen to more shit, though, I feel like. Rick Ross is a top five beat selector. Is he? I feel like a lot of his beats are very jazzy. Very, eh, I guess. Trippy's the best and most versatile artist of this generation. Hot take, bro. I fuck with Trippy. I fuck with Trippy. I respect that shit. Trippy's fire, bro. I still think to this day he could be so much bigger. Because his potential is through the roof, in my opinion. Kid Cudi's The Goat. And Kitsy Ghost and Man on the Moon 1 and 2 are all certified classics. Um, I don't know about Man on the Moon 2 as much, but I respect that. Pierre's solo music, mad underrated. Life of Power 4, better than 90% of trap projects in these past few years. That's a hot take, but from beginning to end, bro, that shit gets redundant. Trying to listen to that shit from beginning, especially with the deluxe, it, st it starts to become the same. Juice World is the best popular freestyler of all time. Hot take, but I fucking agree, bro. I've never seen, especially at his age and just like off the dome like that, I've never seen that. I've never seen somebody freestyle like that. 
Even Eminem gave him mad praise, bro. Thought Breaker is a 10. They're talking about Chief Keef. Low key, that shit is great. Maybe one song I skip, but I fuck with that mixtape heavy. That shit brings me back, bro. Baby, use my number one, you my number two. You know I gotta come home, girl. What's up with you, baby? Can you be my friend? That shit's fire, bro. Lucky, one of the hardest right now. Check him out if you haven't. I've heard Lucky before, a couple songs, but doesn't really stand out to me. Juice is one of the best rap artists ever. I agree. EA is not a top five Uzi project. If Uzi, like, first of all, he doesn't have that many projects for you for that to not be in his top five the fuck let me know in the comments who what tapes are better than that five like i don't know hendrix is future's best album hot take disagree but that shit is great migo's about to drop rap album of the year i hope so bro i have a feeling culture three has the potential to be like pfft, top project this year love scar 1600 ko could have been on the could have been the same level as EXO Tour Life if he put it on all streaming. Bro, I always say that about this song. Love Scar, 16... Oh. So much water on my neck, I need a boat or some. That shit is so fire. I, I low-key get sad when I hear that shit because it's so nostalgic for me. Whole lot of red over self-titled. Ooh. Hot take. Maybe. Youngin Ace needs to be recognized. More recognized. He's fire. He's cool. He'll get there depending on, you know, if he makes a hit, who, how he's promoted. Lil Wayne's the most inconsistent artist of our generation. Wow. That's low-key a hot take, because I, I might have to agree with that. I might have to agree with that, bro. Because he be having some decent tapes, and then, it's, eh, and then, eh, like, I don't know. I don't know. He hasn't really had anything, like, classic in a long time, my opinion. Eminem is considered a god-tier rapper who can never lose a battle, but he's actually never gone against anyone on the same level Benzi benzino ja rule mgk and pop singers are not competition Pit put an actual lyricist against him and he might lose very hot take i don't think we've ever seen that you might be right maybe if him and kendrick went at it i'm not sure somebody that's extremely lyrical that's a great take bro low key made in to whatever tokyo has been one of the most underrated rappers has he eh Kid Cudi doesn't have a bad album. Uh, I don't know. I, I, a lot of his, some of his projects, like, it's inconsistent from beginning to end. I feel like Man on the Moon 3, for me, is like, from beginning to end. Maybe one song I skipped. So that project, maybe. Travis isn't top five trap. I respect it. Maybe, maybe he isn't. NBA Youngboy's a dope artist. He was consistently putting out bangers last year. You're sleeping. Eh, I don't give two fucks, to be honest. Lil Uzi has the best leaks out of any rapper. One of the best. Him, Playboy, low key. Pharrell Williams is one of the most important musicians of all time. He is extremely influential. I agree. Kid Cudi over Kanye West. Hey, good opinion. Not really a hot take. Gunna over Lil Baby. Eh, not really a hot take. Come on. This, is, this shit is cold, bro. These are cold takes. Come on. Brockhampton are the most consistent group in all of hip hop. I don't really listen to them. Maybe I'm sleeping, but I guess. Freddie Gibbs over Kendrick? I disagree big time. I, Freddie's all right. I, I don't really care, but I don't know about that. Pierre Bourne, best producer in trap music? I respect it. DS2 by Future is a good album. Where's the hotness? Where's the spice? Death Race for Love is Juice's weakest album? Eh, that's your opinion. It's decent take. None of this shit is hot right now. In my opinion, Future isn't good at all. There we go. There we go with the hot fucking takes. That's, come on, man. Come on. His vocals are horribly mixed. Mmm. Hit me with the hot takes. He ruins most collabs and he's just generally not good. Mmm. Yes, sir. I do respect what he what he's don't, though. He's just not for me. I know most people might disagree, so let me remind you. It's my personal opinion. I respect it. This is a hot fucking take. Completely disagree, though. Washington DC drill. What the fuck is Washington DC drill? Put me on. I don't know. There's not a single good Cardi clone. So facts. Back from the dead. And there's also another clone too. Fucking Ron So Cold. That's another one. Back from the dead 2 over Finally Rich. Completely disagree. Back from the dead 2 got a lot of skips for me. Kid Leroy will fall off in like two to three years. I don't think so. I don't know. He's on some pop. He's on, he don't really rap. So when you're in that pop lane... I disagree, bro. 
and he's under that whole juice world i don't know freddie gibbs has already secured his place as a top five mc all time maybe top three and by the time he's done you may have a case for him being the greatest to do it he doesn't drop a whack verse and doesn't lack in any department you could try to do <laughs> I don't really care about Freddie Gibbs. I'm going to be honest with you. I haven't really cared to listen to his music, so I can't really... I have no say in this. Let me know in the comments, guys, if he's a, if he's right or not. As much as I love FBG Duck, the song Dead Bitches was the reason he was killed. RIP. That's not a hot take. That's just truth. You get you reap what you sow, bro. He got a song dissing his op, and now they both dead. That shit, all that gang shit, that violence, that shit don't make no sense, bro. They dying for no reason, bro. They kill each other for nothing. Completely irrelevant. Now what? All the families gotta suffer now. I don't wanna get into that. But anyways, yeah. The takes, honestly, were I for the most part. I could it could have been better. It could have been better. Next time y'all better come with some real sriracha. You feel me? Some pepper jack. Alright? I'll check you guys in the next video. Peace.